Realize that your bike is an e-bike and turn on the assistance level. Oh. Here's another big hill. There's plenty of them on the mountain. Watch my Merida Espresso make it look really easy. I usually have the maximum assist level on for hill climbs, which doubles the effort that I put into the bike. This means that for even the steepest climbs, I can stay sitting down and don't get sweaty. And this is where I find the e-bike really, really excels. It's not necessarily those long, slow inclines. It's definitely helpful there, but it's on these shorter, much steeper ones where otherwise you might have to find a completely different route to go around. With an e-bike, you just bam up that pedal assist and you get to the top. Just so you know, I'm not gonna cheat. I've got no pedal assist on at all this time. Okay, I did it. Was it enjoyable? No. Would I be able to cycle a long way afterwards? No. So thanks 99 Bikes for giving me this Merida Espresso. For this video, I'm gonna challenge myself to ride my 1.5 kilometer uphill incline on my gravel bike versus on my e-bike, and I'll show you the results. Finished the gravel bike run with just under five minutes and a heart rate of 135. I've just completed the e-bike run at three minutes, 50 seconds with a heart rate of 85 beats per minute. I think it's safe to say the Cube Reaction Pro definitely passes the hill challenge. Coming down, so much fun. This is Carrington Road in London Derry. There's another way out of town and it's about a two kilometer detour. Prior to having an e-bike, I'd take the detour every time. Now, no need. And here we go, sped up for your enjoyment. Um, as you can see, it's quite easy, pretty much straight up the hill. So, full assist, super easy. Let's try no assist at all. So once again, sped up, it continues zigzagging a lot more here. Um, and it's so, so much harder. Yay, <sighs> okay, trim breath. And then I'll try with the motor. Being able to barely change a gear and just keep moving my legs and have the motor do all the extra work. I found honestly the biggest difference having an e-bike is it kicks in when it comes to hills and all that extra torque coming all from the motor um, and the battery and not from my legs means I can go up and just glide up without even breaking a sweat. Okay, so it's safe to say this really helps with hills. Oh my God, my heart's gonna come out of my chest. <laughs> It took me a few rides on the e-bike before I was brave enough to tackle it. I was surprised that I was able to make it up the hill. It's uh, a lot of work, but it's now getting easier as I get fitter. It's quite comfortable on eco setting, but I do a fair bit of bike riding. If you drop the gears right to the easiest gear, it's not too bad, but let's see what happens when we bump it up to turbo. That's a major difference. I'm still puffing a little bit, but on turbo, with the gears on the easiest setting, even a, a novice rider would get up this hill without too much of a problem. Pedaling really slowly, like it's almost like I'm pedaling through syrup, and man was it tough. But then when you add on the, um, the pedal assist, you can absolutely fly. So I'm on turbo mode, and I'm actually switching up the gears as I go up the hill. So I'm going to be using uh, full assist level 3, uh, and seeing how I go in the first attempt. And then on the second, we'll compare it to having uh, no assistance at all. So that was uh, the attempt on full assistance. I pushed pretty hard and I got uh, about one minute for the 450 meters back at the starting point. Uh, got the bike turned completely off. So I'll uh, see you at the top. So a full one minute and 10 seconds for that second attempt. Definitely a lot more puffed out after that go. 